I'm sorry, there is this one little fly that eats. It likes you. Uh, a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here with Bianca Pagnanon, and after her round today, Bianca, I know, I've been That's practicing. Good. That's great. <laughs> so tell me about how you're feeling after day two here at Reynolds Sikakoni. Well, it was really humid out there, so I tried my best to stay hydrated, but I feel pretty good about my round. I guess off the tee, I wasn't that confident, but I, my iron shots definitely saved me today, and I was making a couple of putts. I missed some, but, you know, I was able to bounce back and just drop some birdies. Tell me also about yesterday we were talking and you said that it was going to be a little bit more humid in the morning. That's what you were preparing for. But mm -hmm. were there any other changes to the course as you competed yesterday in the afternoon and now in the morning here? Didn't really feel that much of a difference. I mean, it wasn't that windy. There were like a bit of gusts. But for the most part, I did pay attention to my distance, especially when I was warming up this morning. Just try to make sure that I have my numbers right. Those are some like common mistakes that I usually tend to come across. But... Yeah, I try to be a little bit more aware throughout my warm-up and just, you know, be, look at my surroundings. I love how you say that, you know, you still didn't hit a lot of nice shots, that, you know, you, but you ended with a five under a round. You vaulted up the leaderboard today. So how comfortable are you, are you in your game at the moment? I don't know. I just, I feel really relaxed out there. I'm really enjoying this whole environment. And with the course being by the lake, it's really beautiful. But, I mean... I just take everything shot by shot, you know, I missed a green, but my mindset was just like, you know, you can still save par. So I guess it was more of just having that positive mindset throughout the whole round and knowing that, you know, I can bounce back from not so great shots. You and Matilda Castron in your group, she's coming off a win on the Symmetra Tour, but you guys just seem to be trading birdies back and forth. What's that like when someone in your group is also kind of feeling the momentum and feeling that groove? Does that help you in any way? Yeah, it really does. I'm actually good friends with Matilda, so I, I get to see her quite often. But yeah, like you said, it's really nice to have someone who's like probably on the same momentum. You get to ride that wave and... I don't know, it just really depends on how you take it and how you handle it, but for the most part, it's really nice to be on that same level. You were able to take advantage of some of the par fives today, especially mm -hmm. that number 18, that birdie there. Take us through that right. Take us through that hole in particular, especially as uh, one of your closing holes today. Mm -hmm. You know, what is it about these par fives here? Do you think they're reachable for the distance that you do get? I'd say they are pretty reachable. If anything, there's just one par five that I really can't get on on two. But on 18, I did hit a really solid drive. But when it landed, it kind of kicked right. So I was looking at my caddy. I was just like, I hope it didn't kick back in the rough. I hope it like took a pretty good bounce. And while we were walking up to it, it I was lucky. You know, it bounced out of the rough. It had a great lie on the fairway. I had 165 yards. It was downwind, but. We were kind of debating between an eight or a nine, but you know, just to play it safe, we clubbed up and just hit a nice little punch shot. And I hit the shot that I wanted, got it to around, I think I was like 30 feet maybe. Then I just didn't try to be too greedy, you know. If I made it, then good. If I stuck it close, then that's fine too. All right. And then one more just from me before we head mm -hmm. over to Ophelia over there. What are some things that you're probably going to work on, you know, either today or even into Saturday to keep yourself up at the top of the leaderboard? Maybe practice a little bit more putting and then I maybe a little of my woods, I don't know, some of my tee shots, try to get a little bit more confident. So maybe head to the range and try to work on those. At the moment, too, just before the even afternoon wave kind of closes in, mm -hmm. right now you're one of the top three people on the leaderboard, which could potentially mean a final grouping mm -hmm. tomorrow. Do you ever think about things like that? I know you were really close at KPMG being in a final grouping as well. I guess sometimes I do. It's really nice to put myself in contention, like, Yes, it, it can be nerve-wracking, but at the same time, you really have to experience that and know what it's like to be in a good position in order to, you know, play well in future events. But, yeah, of course, like, it crossed my mind, especially, like, when I was playing well today. I was just like, you know, maybe you can put yourself in a good spot for the next two days. So, yeah. All right. Thank you, Bianca. I'm going to head over to Ophelia, our junior reporter. Hi, Bianca. Hi, Ophelia. Have you ever played in a tournament and the location was so beautiful that you decided to come back for a vacation? Is like Lake Oconee going to be one of your new vacation spots? Definitely. I played a practice round. And the first practice round I actually played, I was, I think I was playing the back nine and the sun was setting and it was beautiful. And I kid you not, I was stopping on every green, taking any picture I could, and I really enjoyed everything. So really hoping we could come back here next year. It's really beautiful. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, thank you, Bianca. That was perfect. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>